Yo, what is up, Fubula fam? We're back at it again with some more Sapped Ranked. We are going to be playing some Star Pack. That is my preferred pack right now. I think it's the best pack in the game. So if you have access to that pack, I recommend that you play it as well on your ranked journey. Before, we had a great example of a Salamander game. And I want to show you one of the premier lines that you can play in the Star Pack. The Jellyfish line. You're going to collect Jellyfish, Pugs, Clownfishes. And you want to use three specific Tier 1s to help boost their stats right off rip. That is the Kiwi, the Duckling, and the Mouse. That's what you really, really want to focus on. So this next game that you see should help you uh, navigate how to play a good level up build and hopefully get some ranked wins. Right off rip, though, we have a really, really diverse lobby here. There's someone else playing Star Pack along with us, two Turtle Packers, a Puppy Packer. It's so a pretty, pretty diverse. Any any uh, balling duelist are going to register the golden pack. You know, maybe they're on some kind of challenge from their chat. We could see uh, some interesting stuff. But five people, I like it. Oh, we got four. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Personally, I like signing up for eight-person lobbies. There's no difference between your rating, whether you do 1v1 or eight-person. And I feel like as long as you don't finish in the bottom half, you're always going to usually gain some amount of rating points. So in Star Pack, the whole goal is just to collect mice, ducklings, and kiwis and freeze your strawberry. Everything else you can pretty much ignore most of the time. So we're gonna take kiwi, we're gonna roll, we're gonna freeze this bad boy, we're gonna take this, we're gonna roll, freeze these, roll, freeze these, roll just for fun. And uh, we'll put our mouse up front just for style points. Five seconds to pick, we'll be the famous lollipops, let's go. Clutch team name here with seconds left on the clock. And yeah, we're completely set up for next turn. Uh, this is the reason why I like putting the mouse up front. You can kill the the front piggy wiggies. But, you know, we're never going to win that fight anyway with, with our stats and only two units. We would never freeze any pets here because we want to leave maximum spaces open to see salamander, jellyfish, and yak. There are three carries that are always going to be supported by Pug. Level 2 Pug is the most important thing to build in Star Pack, because that way, once you get a tier up on turn 9, when tier 5 unlocks, you can scale look at tier 6s, and then that way you have a level 2 of that tier 6 automatically from Pug. So it's very, very, very important and very powerful. Um, let's do a little bit of scouting. Maybe like this? All right, let's lock it in. But yeah, as the star pack, you're pretty much conceding the first two turns. You're not really expected to win them. You can win turn three, but you're supposed to just really turn it on and leapfrog ahead of everybody uh, starting on turn four. This is okay. We're expected to lose all this stuff. We get our free heart back. And then this is where we're going to really pop things off. We're not going to buy this Kiwi because we do just need to find those really important units first. It's going to roll and we have an insano shot we actually have the choice between salamander and jellyfish but since we have two jellyfishes and jellyfish is all about leveling up we're going to take the jellyfish for sure so we'll sell this to start freeze grab this we will give this a chabra uh, strawberry i almost said chabra <laughs> and then we will sell this and we'll get another one of these guys in here. We're not gonna make the level up because selling them is worth more stats. And we are gonna roll. And we're gonna roll. And we can freeze this just in case we find like more doves or something. But, cause there's no other food we wanna buy right now, especially if we go uh, with the jelly comp. So let's just take a look at what our opponent's doing. Because of this, I think I wanna go like that. Perhaps. I think we're gonna still lose this fight, but we have all of our money for next turn to roll for pugs and jellies, and we have all these kiwis to sell to make a really big jelly. So we should be kind of chilling. All right, not a bad fight. I mean, if they didn't have kangaroo, we actually had a really good chance. Okay, and then we have the pug. So since there's a couple. Um, Oh, this is interesting. It's actually a, a super diverse lineup because we have another, we have a puppy, we have a uh, star, and we have 
turtle. Normally, I'm a huge fan of giving the pug some extra oomph. That way, it can deal with chilies, and I'm gonna do it. It's not gonna cost us that much. So we're gonna bring the duckling in. We're gonna sell it, make this a five four. Buy this guy. Roll. Oh my god, and we find this. We're too powerful at the game, chat. We're actually too powerful at the game. Um, and we definitely don't want to lose this fight, so let's just buy this and call it a day. We could keep rolling for, like, plugs and stuff, but let's not press our luck. We definitely need to win. Um... Always have merge prompts on so you can protect yourself. All right, I really don't want this jellyfish to get zapped by like a super moth or something. So I think between this and this, it should be enough stats, especially since we're gonna get this pug level up. We're gonna stick with this. Nice, and it's just bats clean up. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna sell. It's still worth it to cycle this. It's only $2 for like a slightly worse pair, which is insane. We're gonna buy the clownfish before we level up so we get all the value. And we are 100% gonna buy this pelican because it is so many stats. And actually, I am going to strawberry this so we can grow this at the same time now i'm not too worried about the moth at this point they do have a level two moth which is seven attack i think we still just sit tight here like this yeah because we even have a like hummingbird has a chance to pump this pelican has a chance to pump it again so Hummingbird's the next unit we're 100% going to get rid of on our team, and we want to replace it with anything we already have. So we're going to be kind of hard rolling for clownfishes, hugs, and jellies. Uh, I will happily take capybaras, though, because they just make future clownfish and pugs a little bit better. There is an argument to take blobfishes, but only if we find mantis. So that combo's a little tough to pull off. All right, this guy's going to get clapped. Our jelly will just kill their whole team. All right, nice. We actually hit both. So, let's do this here. Um, I'm going to not buy the cappy just yet. Okay, this that was an insane shot. Insane shot for us. This jelly is about to go to the moon. It's about to go to the moon right now. It is going to about to be turbo large. Now, we do have to be careful after this turn because, you know, like if they find another seahorse, well, actually, we don't have to worry about them too much. It's mostly this player who's kind of trolling right now because they're the only one out of everybody that has access to scorpion and skunk. Everyone else kind of just has to bow at our feet on like a giant unit right now. So I think we just leave our jellyfish up front with impunity. And we just make this person that's that's kind of falling behind. Because they're they're on four hearts, but their team is really rough looking. Like they're really far away from another level. They're also damp. They don't even have five units in play, so it's a little struggle us. Yeah, I mean, look, this is like an insane. This is the power of the start pack. And this is why we don't care about losing early, because we haven't lost since. Okay, we are going to... We don't want to level up this clownfish, because we want to... We're not going to... We're not on lethal, right? And we want to save this level up for turn nine, so we can see that stuff so we're just gonna buy this and roll it's very very important that we find pugs pugs is like primo right now for us okay i will take this jelly level up i think <sighs> that's actually a good question i'm actually not sure
Yeah, we take the jelly level up. It's just too much stats. All right, both these pets are butt cheeks. And we can put this here so they get all boosted by themselves. And we're gonna have to let go of the Pelican value probably next turn so we can cycle this crow to help us get the pug. Or at the very least, make a half level of the tier six, which the pug will make as a tier, as a level two. So that is the plan. Nobody seemed to, nobody improved in a really scary way here. So as John Cena would say in China, we are bing chilling right now. We are bing chilling. Okay, yeah, this guy's kind of trolling. Our 35, 33, 35. Jelly is just gonna mop the floor with them. Oh, this is kind of cute. We actually get a replacement. Oh, okay, that's intriguing because we really want to get a pug, but this pelican lets us make two level ups next turn. So I think. I think we always take it here. Yeah, okay, nice. Pog boosting clownfish is definitely more permanent. Uh, is it more? Uh, it's actually, let's check that. It is more stats. It's one extra health, and it, it goes on a unit that we might need as a backup. The puppy pack person could always get a stinky sock and kind of mess with our jellyfish. That's the only way our jellyfish is going to truly get messed with right now. We do need to tempo out, though, this puppy pack gamer. And they're on five hearts, which is not good. Because once they start getting, like, peanuts, peanut butter is like a food. Once they start cooking with, like, a million tier sixes, we could be in trouble. But this isn't bad. I mean, we have a we have a really really solid squad here. I mean, you couldn't. The only thing you can ask for more is more pugs. But otherwise, this is a pretty dream scenario. All right. This guy's Tostitos. All right, leg is eliminated. All right, we'll make our clownfish first. That's huge. Okay, um. I mean, it's always Sabretooth Tiger here for sure. And then I'm pretty sure it's Spinosaurus. And we're gonna let go of our clownfish. Now we're looking for green pepper for the saber tooth and more pugs. All right, nice. We got it. We'll wait to equip it next turn. Okay, one thing. Oh, I guess this guy could dunk on us. Okay, so let's do it like this in case this Joker manages to get a scorpion. It would be so lame to just like. I mean, their team is not strong. I think we still beat them even if we get scorped, actually. Is that true? Wow, if we don't have our jellyfish, do we still beat that team? We might, actually. Uh, if that's the case, let's just leave this here. Just make them find the squirt. <laughs> that's kind of gross, actually. Wow, that was good for us. Okay, luckily this guy is, the puppy pack person's doing <clears throat> a weird pivot. Yeah, we buy this for sure. I'm gonna freeze roll. The only thing we're looking for is pugs and crows. I think the scaling from this is a little too useful to just get rid of it. Okay, now things are a little different though because we can zebra. So I will sell it now. 
Yeah, it basically just got what it was going to get anyway. Alright, is the greed in my heart? I think we're due to play this guy. I think it does go back every other. I The greed is in my heart, chat. I am going to take this. Watch, watch this kill a scorpion. How dank would that be? This lonely mouse just kills a scorpion. It'd be so sick. Jellyfish is that of this world. The only way that team, that guy had a shot was with a scorpion. Okay, so now it's down to the two of us. And they have flashlights now. Okay. We did find a Velociraptor, which is pretty gross. So we definitely want this. Nice. Don't care about either of those. Ah, that was broken. Okay. Um, against this guy, we actually care more about having double saber tooth because they might just micro away our our stuff anyway. I'm actually going to save this orange, because if they keep going on this weakness plan, then just having raw health is going to be really good. Uh, okay. And that's this is where the Spinosaurus is going to be nice, too, just getting some random extra stats. But they also have to deal with our jellyfish, which is not an easy task. All right, so we have a question. Do we actually want to play Spinosaurus long term? I don't think we do. So we're going to sell this. We're going to make a chocolate. We're going to make a level two of this guy. Oh, that's interesting. OK, this reindeer is actually broken. But that's if it survives from the lionfish. All right, we're going to do this. Because in theory, the reindeer will get melons replacing the, the weaknesses. Let's see if this works. We have a 50-50 shot of our coconut, like, doing something. All right, it did something. All right, and our jellyfish is just too obnoxious. I'm going to save these foods and roll. Stegosaurus being, like, the best thing we can find. Stegosaurus. I shouldn't have committed to that, but oh well. I found another Stegosaurus. Okay, that's broken. Okay, now we're chilling. Now I find it difficult for us to ever lose. I also don't need this anymore. Okay. Wow, we keep hitting perfect on that too, which is really gross.
In theory, we should have waited to use the orange so we can maybe make a level two of this, but that's okay. And we definitely want a level two of this, I think, instead of the reindeer. The reindeer just melanin itself once should be enough, just because it'll cancel um, a weakness. Yeah, that should be chill. GG's, and that is how it's done. That was like literally almost textbook perfect jellyfish line in the star pack. The only thing that was a little struggling was it took us a while to find the level two pug, but that's why you want to stay committed to finding that level two pug, because look what dividends it provide for us, right? We had that like saber tooth level two a little bit earlier. Uh, we had the flexibility of the Bloss Raptor at one point, right? Like. We had the flexibility of the reindeer at one point. Like, it's just so, so, so powerful. But yeah, Chad, there you go. That is like a perfect example of how to get a W in the ranked mode for Super Auto Pets playing the star pack. This is the premier line. If you can build a jellyfish line, you are, you are being chilling. I mean, look, we're playing static pack. I had a 48.50, no problem. Uh, so that just goes to show you the raw power level that comes with this pack. If you have access to it, you definitely should play it in Ranked. Uh, and if you care a lot about Ranked, consider picking it up. It is a very, very powerful pack. And we get 16 extra points. but bing bada boom Slowly but surely, we are climbing. 1560, we'll take it. We're a ways away still from the... Um... Oh, I keep clicking pets. <laughs> We're a ways away still from the, um, the leaderboard. But that's okay. We haven't been grinding standard that much. We've been doing a bunch of custom, actually. We are currently fourth place on the custom leaderboard. If you want to check out some of my amazing builds for custom that helped me dominate in that format, be sure to check out some of the other videos. Happy snapping. Why did I say snap? This game isn't even snap. Happy sapping. <laughs>